Let me show you what this bad boy can do. Okay guys, as promised, we're gonna do an oil change on a 2008 Sportsman 500. Now, this oil change will range from basically any 500 from, what, 97, 98 on up. Uh, so I'm gonna go through everything. I'll show you what uh, plugs the pull. We're gonna get on this thing. Get my lift going here. Tell you, if you don't have one of these and you wrench on your wheeler a lot, this thing is nice to have. So I'm going to start showing you where the plugs are. So you have your uh, oil reservoir right here that you add your oil to. There is a drain plug down here. Got your oil filter right here. We'll be taking that off. And depending what your oil looks like, uh, some guys do this, some guys don't. If the oil still looks pretty clean, a lot of guys will leave uh, the oil in the bottom of the block. There is a drain plug. Uh, you probably can't see it because I don't have the light in the way, but it's underneath here. When I get a light, I'll show you. Um, Part of the reason some guys leave uh, oil in the block and don't pull that drain plug is so when you fire it up, there's still oil in the block and it circulates. Um, I've got a little fuel in my oil, so I'm gonna drain both. And then I'll show you the startup sequence of what I do to kind of prime everything. So what you're gonna need is a 14 millimeter wrench and a 14 millimeter socket and ratchet and oil filter wrench. We're gonna start with the easiest first. We're gonna take that and plug out. There you go, and then uh, you got a magnet on the tip of that. I like to clean all the metal shavings off of there. You will have some, especially something this old. And there's a little magnet. So while that's draining, I'm gonna grab my oil filter wrench and pull the oil filter off right away. If you got one of these, these are really nice. They just twist and they grab the filter. Put some rags down, this is kinda messy. There we go. That's loose. There's the oil. Yeah, right in the pan. Beautiful. <laughs> so if you change the oil in the car, you'll know to put a little oil around that ring. So it seals nice. I'll spin that in. You shouldn't have to go too tight. This hand tight's usually pretty good. Make her snug. There we go. I'm gonna put my drain plug in back into the well reservoir.
Try not to drop it in the oil pan. And then we'll get to the other side. All right, I'm gonna bring you through the footboard. I don't know if you can see that. A lot easier with the footboard out of the way, but basically there's a bolt right here. You see where my finger is? And I'm gonna loosen that up and drain that out. There should be an axis hole right here where you can get the wrench in. This one's kind of tricky. Usually I'll grab a hammer too to knock that wrench loose. There we go. And if you have long fingers, that helps too. There we go. Whee! Yeah, I can smell the gas in there. And there's the, the drain plug. So I'll show you what I mean so you get a better view. This is a parts engine I got laying around. You know, the engine was turned this way. Your drain plug's right here. Pull that off, and then it drains down. Yeah, so that's drained pretty good. I'm gonna get the excess oil off the frame. I spill. I'll put my plug back. Which can be kind of tricky. I got long fingers, so that helps. <laughs> I can also use a, a magnet if that helps you out. Alright, got her in there. And I'll tighten it up. You can see through the hole. See my wrench turn in there? That's where that nut is behind the foot pedal. You just gotta snug it up. Don't over tighten it or you'll strip the bolt. And we're gonna add our oil. All right. So I believe it's about, uh, Two quarts or 2.1 if I'm right uh, I add that once I'm done with the oil change I'll fire it up for about three to five minutes let the oil circulate before I drive it I'll shut down and then let it cool I'll fire it up again let the oil circulate I want to make sure it gets through the block and we should be good to go While I'm doing this, I'll check my uh, coolant reservoir, or what I like to call the puke tank, the overflow tank for the coolant. Top that off. Actually, if you wanted to make this easier, let me pull that out of the way. So I've heard 0 W40 is good. Uh, I've also heard guys using 5 W40. There we go. I'll check my level. We're good. I'm a little over full, but that's okay because it still has to go through the filter. We have clean oil. All right. Your uh, overflow tank for the radiators right here. 
I'm between minimum and maximum, so we're good there, so I'm not gonna mess with that. If it was low, I'd top it off. All right, so while I got up in here, I wanna check all the grease Zurex. Um, there isn't a whole lot on this 2008. Normally there's uh, some here, some down here. Um, I was actually surprised they took a lot of them away. Um, on your prop shaft right here, there's uh, grease zerk in there. I actually installed a, a newer one, so I already greased those up. That's good to go. And just kind of look over everything, grease everything up. Like I said, after the oil change, when you're done with everything, Fire it up, let it run for five minutes. The oil circulate through the block. It's a little cold yet. Five minutes later, shut it down. Let it cool off for a little bit. And then we'll restart. Just get the oil circulating. And that's it. If you guys enjoyed my video, a new oil change on the Sportsman 500. If it comes up, if you like the video, like always, 